a billion people in the world are now overweight. And that's great news for the $13 billion weight loss supplement industry. Reported at the International Congress on Obesity in Stockholm recently, a review of common slimming supplements versus placebo, and not one worked better than the sugar pills. No evidence that any of these food supplements provide adequate treatment for weight loss, so it looks like we'll just have to stick with food. That was the conclusion reached in a similar review out of the Weight Management Center at Johns Hopkins recently, which ended with this. It is fitting to highlight that perhaps the most general and safest quote-unquote alternative approach to weight control is to substitute low-energy density foods for high-energy density and processed foods, thereby reducing total energy intake. In other words, more whole plant foods and fewer animals and junk. By taking advantage of the low energy density and health-promoting effects of plant-based foods, one may be able to achieve weight loss, or at least assist weight maintenance, without cutting down on the volume of food consumed or compromising its nutrient value.